Hi, I'm Lazy Beto, and we are here to talk about Victoria's Secret. So I was already in the school to be a nurse, and a friend of mine, she was a model in my hometown, and she's like, oh, you look like a model, why don't you come and, and visit our, our agency? And then I was very shy in that time because being very tall and skinny in a small town in Brazil doesn't look like you're sexy. I did some tests and uh, fashion week came. I did some shows in, in my hometown and then after that I went to Sao Paulo. They had a scouters from here and they found me there. And then after five months I came to New York and then I moved to, right away to New York after the fashion show. Well, after I became an angel, everything changed. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, you know, it's, it's great to hang out with the other girls and, and travel with them and, and people think we are not close, but we are. We do like dinners and hang out together and becoming an angel opened a lot of doors in your career too. Victoria's Secret have, have that power in your career, so a lot of things now it's easier than before. <laughs> Well, Candice, uh, our relationship are very special because she is special. First of all, she's the hottest girl that I know. <laughs> and she's very sweet. And I think the most important thing about her is she's very honest. And she tells you, you know, what she's thinking, she's feeling. She speaks perfect uh, Portuguese. So when I started, I didn't speak any English. So she was one of the girls who helped me a lot because of my English and we have a lot of things in common like music and everything so and she danced very well <laughs> and I like to dance too so we are really good friends.